Hey guys, it's me, Emma, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be me answering my plastic surgery Q&A questions I got asked on my Instagram. And if you're not sure what this video is really going to be about, it's going to be me getting my nose job and just going through all the commonly asked questions you'd ask somebody if you wanted to know more about like the whole situation I have to go through or any questions about like pain, pricing, and like where I went and stuff. And just overall my experience. So if you're interested in that, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I wrote down all the questions I got asked in this book, uh, so I'm going to be reading them out of here. Question number one was, why did I decide to get one? And basically, like, it's pretty straightforward. Obviously, my nose was like a, just a big insecurity of mine for basically like my whole life. It wasn't uh, someone saying something to me that like triggered it. I just have always been insecure about it. And like I would say, I'm overall a pretty confident person. It was really just that one thing I felt that was like holding me back. And I know obviously like people had it worse than me, but I just felt to me like it was all I thought about. It was honestly just always on my mind and it was super unhealthy. Like I, when I would be talking to someone, I'd just be thinking that they were looking at my nose or thinking about my nose. And I almost like let it define who I was. So I think it just really was a great idea for me to get the surgery. The second question is what did I have done? So I think this is more specifically like what I actually had done to my nose. So I'll probably insert some before and after pictures here just so you can see. But my main concern actually was my side profile. So this is what it looks like now. So I got my uh, dorsal hump shaved down and then I also had a deviated septum. So if I like, looked up, you could see that my septum was off. So I got that corrected and I got that straightened out. And then I also got my nostrils brought in a bit to make my nose appear more slim because my nose before was like a very round, like bulbous kind of tip. So they brought in that and they also raised, they also lifted my tip a little bit. The third question was, how much did it cost and was it expensive? Well, obviously plastic surgery is going to be expensive. I mean, it all really depends, I guess, how much you really want the surgery done. And I would have done anything for the surgery. So I also went to an uh, expensive place to get it done. I, like, I went down like downtown Toronto to go get the surgery done. So mine did come out to 11000 with everything included. So this was my pre-op appo appointments, post-op appointments and this is also including my consultation I had done and there was no other fees to pay like once I paid this fee that was it but yeah it to me it was a very expensive purchase it was not something I just like did spontaneously this was like me thinking of this decision for the past like like five or six years of my life so the fourth question was where did I have it done so I had it done with Dr. Corey Torgerson in downtown Toronto. And I'll leave his information stuff like for his website down below so you can check it out if you're really interested in that. But yeah, that's where I got it done. And I mean, I guess I'll just go into more of my experience with this question, but my experience was really great. He was a great surgeon. Um, I'm super happy with the results. I think he was really personal and I knew he listened to me when I wanted to have change and he gave me some suggestions just to get like the best results I possibly could for my money I was paying obviously and I think he understood exactly what I wanted and he did like the perfect job. The staff there at the facility are, were super friendly. After my surgery they were sending me emails each day to say just checking up on me like how are you doing like if you have any questions give us a call. They were super helpful and friendly. I think I did email them a couple times they answered any questions I had and it was just a great experience. So question number five is do I have any regrets? My only regret, well, I mean, I guess there's kind of two. My, my one regret would be, like, I wish I could have done it even sooner so like, I didn't let it bother me my whole life. But obviously, like, I don't know, any sooner would have just been too young. So, I mean, it just had to happen at the time it did. And my other regret would be, I wish I went through the process of getting my surgery with taking a more medical approach to it because, because I was correcting my deviated septum, some of it was medical. 
And if I went through maybe my doctor saying I wanted like a medical nose job surgery kind of rather than like a more like cosmetic, then I think I could have saved probably about like, I don't know, three or four thousand at least just like for the medical part that was done. But like overall, if I regret the surgery or anything, no way. It has honestly changed my life for the better. I'm a way more confident, happy person. And anyone who like wants one or is debating getting one, I would definitely say like, just do it. You will honestly like, you'll regret waiting and pushing it off. Question number six is what was the recovery like? So the recovery was pretty good, honestly. Uh, I mean, I just had my wisdom teeth taken out the week before, maybe a week or two before the surgery. And um, it was honestly, that was probably worse than me recovering from the actual surgery. It was super easy. They obviously prescribed me the medication for some painkillers, some swelling and infection and stuff that you have to take. Honestly, the worst part about recovery was not being able to really taste anything or obviously smell anything. That was probably the worst. Like pain wise, no, no pain at all. I had probably like on a scale of one to 10, maybe like, like two and the it wasn't even so much pain it was more discomfort it was just really uncomfortable if you had an itch on your nose to be obviously that was a little bit annoying but pain wise it was super easy so question number seven was how long did it take to heal so this is a kind of broad question but technically a nose job is supposed to take a full year to actually recover and be like 100 percent healed that's how it's going to be looking forever but um, right now I am about seven months post-op and I would say this is pretty much like most of the healing done and I don't think it's supposed to change too much but it's more like the internal like I had a lot of like internal swelling kind of inside my nostrils so like sometimes I have trouble breathing but that's just me recovering that should be all done with like after my one year post-op then I should be pretty much fully recovered but for bruising wise and like how I looked I think I would say it took about two weeks to fully recover from all the bruising that was on my face. And that's just because I'm obviously very fair skin. I mean, everyone's going to have different reactions, but because I'm so fair, I had pretty bad bruising. I can't remember, I think maybe it was my left eye. It almost looked like I had a black eye and that's how bad it was. It was pretty hard to cover up. So I'd probably recommend if you're going to take time off work, at least take or like time off of school or something. I would plan to take about two weeks because you obviously don't really want to go around public with like all this bruising on your face. So question number eight is what did I do on the daily while healing? So my daily schedule while recovering was mainly me waking up, I'd take my prescriptions I had to take for the day and this wouldn't be really painkillers because I was never really in pain so I would take my uh, anti-infection like, antibiotics ones and then I'd also have um, the swelling prescriptions so I'd take those. Then I really couldn't taste anything and because I had the mustache piece on my face for so long like I really couldn't open my mouth that wide so it was more like I'd be having liquids. I remember I had crushed pineapple a lot which is super good for swelling and bruising and stuff so like that was pretty good and um, I mean if you're not a big fan of pineapple it's really not so bad because you can't taste it. So I had that. I think I had some smoothies like some soups and uh, I mean I I don't think I had a really big appetite to be honest. I could probably have my crushed pineapple and maybe like some soup and then I wouldn't really eat something till dinner. Like I wasn't really that hungry. Then I would usually be changing the mustache gauze piece multiple times a day. I mean, it's gonna be different for everyone but my nose like, would not stop leaking. Like at first obviously your nose is like leaking blood. But then I think at the end it was more it was more just like liquid coming out, if that makes any sense. I don't know, but I would be changing all the time because I wanted to keep everything clean. And that's another thing when I would take off the mustache um, drip thing, I would also like kind of clean up around my nose, like wipe away any blood. Or I also use my polysporin on my um, nose incisions like that I had underneath and use that. Just to keep everything clean and not leave it all like gross on my face. And then at nighttime, I found it pretty hard to sleep most of the time just because it was really uncomfortable and I, I'm a, like I usually breathe through my nose when I sleep so it was a little different for me. So I would usually have to take some melatonin or something just to help me fall asleep. And yeah, that would pretty much be my day. I just want to say a big shout out to my parents and my boyfriend. Thank you so much for taking care of me. Like if it wasn't for them, I don't even know what I would have done. They were basically the ones like preparing the food for me or like looking up after me and they had 
um, change out my cold ice packs for me so I could put that on my eyes and reduce some of the swelling and stuff. So just a big shout out to you guys. Thank you so much. Question number nine is, did I still go out places? So I guess this question is more directed toward like after my surgery. For the first week, I did not go out anywhere. I just stayed at home. I had my cast on. So I mean, and there was quite a bit of swelling and bruising. And I think my Dr. Torgerson had said like, you obviously don't want to be doing any like physical activity. Like you really just want to sit down, rest and recover during this time period. But the second week after recovering from my surgery, I actually had to go to work. And I didn't realize that you had to, when you get the cast off, they actually put some medical tape on your nose. And I think it's just to kind of keep it in place or help reduce swelling. I'm not 100% sure. I had to wear this at work for the, you have to wear it for a week. So like the week I got my cast off, the second week I had the tape on and not realizing I was gonna have to leave it on that long, I had to wear that to work. So I did have quite a few questions of at my work, but I mean, it wasn't really a big deal. You can't, I got like the clear kind of tape. You couldn't really see it, but week with my cast, I did not go anywhere. It was just chilling in bed. So question number 10 was everyone around me supportive. So luckily everyone in my life was pretty supportive around me. Obviously at first my parents like, them like, they didn't really want me to get the surgery. They thought I was like beautiful without it. But I mean, it was more like a personal decision. Like I, they knew I wanted this for so long and they honestly came around and thought like, if this is what's really gonna make you happy, then do it. Just make sure like you're not wasting your money and that it's well spent on something I really want. So they were really supportive. And like I said, just in a couple questions ago, like they basically like treated me like a princess my whole recovery. They took care of me. My mom helped wash my hair when I had my cast on. Like they were such a great help. And also my boyfriend was there for me. He was super supportive. He was encouraging and he knew this was something I really wanted for a long time too. So I feel like that's always great when you have a big supportive team to help you through such a big like experience or like big moment in your life. Question number 11 is what do my family think of it? So I kind of just answered that in the previous question. At first, I mean, especially my dad was not really going for it. He thought it was a waste of money and that it wasn't really something I needed and he didn't really see what I saw, I guess. But I think my mom more helped me convince him and understand that this is something that was going to affect me mentally and make me more confident. And it was something that had just bothered me for so long that they finally came around to see like, you know what, we get it. If this is something you really want, then we're going to obviously be supportive and we're gonna accept that you want this done. So question number 12 is, am I open about it or do I try to hide it? So I guess this is just about the fact that I had my nose job. And I would say I'm pretty, I've been pretty open about it. I, uh, I'm obviously making this video, so I'm not hiding it or anything. Uh, if anything, I, like, I'm like, I'm 100% okay to tell people and let them know about my story. Like, I mean, it's not something I could hide. I think the difference between the before and after was pretty big. People were gonna know anyway. And I wasn't really embarrassed by it. Like, I just, uh, I don't know, I just, I think before the surgery, I didn't really wanna let anyone know because I didn't want anyone to try to talk me out of it or try to convince me I didn't need it, even though that never worked. So yeah, I would say like now I'm definitely 100% open about it now that it's happened. And um, yeah, like I really have nothing to hide. I, I mean, it worked out in my favor. I'm more confident than ever and I just love to share my story with other people. Question number 13 is, am I more confident? So I think I kind of answered this one earlier. Like I said, like I'm obviously way more confident. I never think about my nose anymore. I love to take side pro side profile photos where like I used to hate it before I would never let anyone take any side profile photos of me now I I just love it and I'm so happy and uh, it just makes me I think a so much more confident person like I just I'm so glad that my nose isn't the main focus that's always in my mind now like when I'm talking to people I don't have to think like I don't have a big insecurity or something I think of like on my face like I could just be engaged in the conversation and not be overthinking about something so stupid. So question number 14 was, what was the process of getting one? So I think this is kind of like what you have to do, what you have to go through to get the surgery. So, so first off, I did a lot of research on some surgeons around me. I didn't really want to travel super far out of the area to get this done, but I knew uh, Toronto's like, I mean, about an hour and a little bit 
from where I live, and that's like a really reputable, reputable place, I would say. So I thought, you know what, I'll look there. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, Dr. Corey Torgerson was the top one, like the top search surgeon that was there. So I'm like, oh, like I'll just give this a look. He seemed really good. I looked at all, I looked at his website, his before and after pictures of other patients, and it seemed like a great match. So, so yeah, then I gave them a call and I booked my consultation appointment. So I think I booked it like a, for a week later. They were super accommodating, super friendly on the phone. So you basically go down there and tell him like what the issue is, what you'd like to have done. Then he takes some before photos and then he has his tablet that he uses to kind of like write out the notes like what you want done. He can actually do some editing and stuff and kind of show you what he thinks would be really good too. But obviously he's gonna like only do what you want. He's not gonna like just overpower your what you want done with his ideas. He's gonna take what you want, he's gonna just try to make the best nose possible that you want, obviously. The next part of that consultation is you have the option to do the 3D imaging. So I did do the 3D imaging and then it is an extra $100, but if you get it, it goes towards your final costs of your surgery. So I did do that and uh, I honestly, as soon as I had it done, like I knew 100% like this is who I want to go with. Like he knows exactly what I want. You got to basically go into this like photoshopping 3D software and he he takes, he scans your face. So your before pictures on the screen and then he can manipulate how your nose is looking so he can show you like what he's going to do exactly while, what he's exactly going to do. So obviously this isn't a guarantee like your nose is going to look exactly like the picture. You get to sit down with him and come up with exactly what your end product is going to be. I would definitely recommend the 3D imaging if you do go with him or do go with even another surgeon if you can. Definitely do the 3D imaging because you really get to see a good view on what you're having done. So you can show like the side profile, front view, the looking up, looking down, and you get to customize like exactly how you want it to look. After that, then you get to meet with someone who's gonna tell you the price range they have set. So unfortunately, mine was on the more expensive end because of how much I was gonna get done. Cause I thought like, you know what? If I'm going in for like one thing, I might as well kind of straighten out my nose and fix it to be the best nose I could possibly have. I personally think that I don't look too different, it just looks like the perfect nose to suit me. It looks like I should have just been born with this nose. My old nose just really didn't suit me. It was, I had the same nose as my dad. It just like, it just wasn't a match. And basically that's all you do at your initial consultation. So the next step would you be paying your deposit on your surgery date and as soon as that deposit's made and that is also due three weeks before your surgery. That will probably be the case for most surgeons. It has to be obviously like, like a specific time stamp before the surgery. So you'll put your deposit down and that's when you would go in for your pre-op appointment. And that's when you kind of go over everything to prep you and you also sign your, you have to sign not like a waiver. You kind of, you sign this form just agreeing to going through the surgery. Like, I mean, anything can really happen. They kind of go over all the risks, like the health risks and everything. Like you are taking like a chance and everyone's obviously has a different experience. Obviously, like I got fortunate enough that my experience was good. It all really depends on how you handle surgery or how well you handle this, like this anesthesia. So yeah, so we kind of go over that. He reads through it with you one-on-one -on -one, and then you get to sign it with him. And yeah, and then your next appointment would be your surgery date. Question number 15 is, am I looking into getting anything else done? And I would say right now, no, definitely not for a while. I mean, maybe in the long run, if I had to choose something, I would say maybe I would get a breast augmentation after I've had kids, maybe in the future. But honestly, uh, nothing recent, like for at least like I would say like, like five, probably 10 years, and we'll don't plan on getting any other plastic surgery done. This was something that really bothered me and I don't have anything else like on my body or anything that really bothers me like this used to. So I would definitely say uh, not for a long time. So to finish off this video, I'm just gonna be giving you guys some good advice to take if you're interested in getting one or you've been thinking about it for a while and you just want to have some good tips before you get it done. So here they are. So I would say number one, make sure you're doing it for yourself and not someone else because obviously this is going to be permanent and like this is not a cheap surgery to have done and 
I think it would be the worst if you had it for somebody else. Like if, like you should never let other people pressure you or bother you into getting something like this done. It should really be for you. It's kind of just common sense. Like this is a pretty serious thing. And I mean, you're the one that has to recover and go through it. And if anything were to happen, like you, if you maybe had some like complications, like you kind of have to live with that just because you gave into like peer pressure about it or something. So I would definitely say like, make sure it's for you and it's gonna benefit you and like change maybe your mental health or make you just feel more confident. If, if it's something like that, I would definitely say go for it. Number two, I'd say do lots of research on the procedure itself just to know like what you have to go through. I mean, every um, surgeon's gonna be different, like maybe have different processes you have to go through. So, I mean, that's always good to research, like know what you're having done and like how long it's gonna take to recover and all that stuff. But I'd also say do a lot of research on the surgeon you're going with because sometimes if you find a, a surgeon for cheaper, you're gonna get the cheaper quality end of the stick like I personally I would go with someone really reputable and it worked out in my favor I honestly I trusted these people they were super friendly and they were there through the whole process for me and it wasn't like something where they just took your money and kind of sent you on your way they were there through the whole process you get to go for post-op appointments that you're a month after three months six months and nine months after they check up on you they want to see how your results are doing if you have any concerns so like they really I would definitely say do your research on the surgeon make sure you're choosing the one that best suits you and your needs I would definitely say meet with a couple different surgeons you want to make sure you choose the right one like I said for you so maybe not even just like researching a few and then like meeting with one but maybe just like meeting with a couple and seeing like their vibe like they might their website might look really put together and like they're really gonna be there for you and professional but then you might get to like meet them and like all they care about is really like the money out of it so I really would recommend meeting with your surgeon and another tip is be prepared for a very long recovery because this is a surgery that is not like you recover in a month and you're good like I said your nose isn't really fully recovered until a year after your surgery date so I mean the majority of the healing obviously I would say be done around probably like the six to nine month mark it really varies on how like on each person like how you recover from things like if you were younger you'd probably recover a bit faster than if you were older getting the surgery but overall it should take a, a year to fully be all recovered like internally externally like that's how your nose is gonna look so just be prepared for that my last tip would be be more confident about getting your surgery there's really no need to be embarrassed about it It's really a more common procedure than you probably think, so there's really no need to hide it like that I've seen, but I mean, it's all personal preference. If you don't really want people knowing, I mean, that's up to you, but honestly, I'd recommend just being confident about it. Okay, so that's pretty much it for my plastic surgery Q&A video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you like this video, I was thinking about doing a how to prep for getting a nose job video. So everything I had to do in preparation, and um, this would include like, from all like the health checks you have to do, like you have to get all this blood work and stuff done to the supplies I got to make my recovery easier and maybe things that I didn't do that I would recommend that you do for recovering from your nose job surgery. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video.